Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick little example on how to do a goodness of fit with chi-squared. All right, so my baseline question is, is my dice loaded? So let's suppose, just kind of like we were talking about in the lightboard video, about how could we tell if we had a scenario where our dice is, maybe we think our dice is loaded. So we go out, we do a sample, and let's set up our null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is equal to uh, the true distribution of outcomes of our dice is uniform. Uh, or we could say uh, P1 equ uh, equals P2 equals P3 equals P4 equals P5 equals P6, which equals 1 divided by 6. Okay, so we could say that it's just uniform of the dice, or we could explicitly say that the, that the true proportion or the, these true probabilities of each of these outcomes are equal at one-sixth. So then the alternative hypothesis is that the true distribution uh, of our dice is not uniform. And we're going to test at an alpha equals 0 0.05, just like we've done. Okay, so here in this data set, what I've done is I've actually opened up this. Let me grab it. And here it has 30 rolls of our dice. So I'm going to highlight this guy. I'm going to copy it. And I am going to uh, upload it into our data set or into our commander. Okay, so now that it's in there, we need to just check one thing is like, is, uh, do we expect to see at least five in, of each outcome? So do we expect to see like five, um, five ones, five twos, five threes? And since our sample size of n equals 30, our expected value for each one, the, uh, the frequency of each outcome is equal to five. So we're, we are big enough and we are good to go. So let's go to our statistics. We can do a summary of just our active data set and it says that I've got five, or I've got seven fives, I've got two fours, and you notice how it's kind of out of order here. So if I want, I can always go in and reorder my factor levels. And I'm just gonna make it the same. And so then I can make the five a five, the four a four, etc. One, six, three and two, click OK. And now let's go to summaries, let's go to frequency distributions. Okay, we're gonna click on the outcome and then check this out, there's this chi-squared goodness of fit. And we're just gonna click OK. And then it says, these are the hypothesized levels. So if I if I didn't think that it was uniform, maybe I thought that the, you know, the one shows up a third of the time and the six doesn't show up at all. If that's what I wanted to test against, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Maybe I was like a manufacturer of loaded dice. Uh, then I could do that as well. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and click OK on this. This looks good. Click OK. And we can see here that we have our outcomes. And let's, let me just pull this up a little bit. So we've got one nine, or we've, the nine, the one shows up nine times, the two show up one time, three show up eight times. Okay, and these are the outcomes. These could be the percentage. So 30% of the time we had a one, uh, two, came up 3%, et cetera, et cetera. And then we get down here, we get our chi-squared test statistic, we get our degrees of freedom, and we get our p-value. Our p-value is less than 0 0.05. So p-value equals 0 0.0, let's do like 407. And so we can reject the null hypothesis because our p-value is less than alpha. So then we can write a conclusion. So we can say that we collected sufficient evidence um, at the alpha, sorry, level of 0 0.05 to reject the claim that the true distribution of the outcomes of the dice was uniform. And instead, 
we claim that it is not a uniform. Okay, so I mean, that's basically it for our goodness of fit. We want to do one other thing. We just want to look at a bar graph. Kind of helps us visualize what's going on. So we go down, click on the bar graph, click on the outcome. Uh, the freak, or the, if we can give it some labels, so we could give it the X label, this would be outcomes. Y axis is our frequency. And we want to like title this something like is our dice loaded. And we can click OK. And here is our bar graph. And we can kind of see how this, if it was uniform, we would expect it to just be kind of flat lines straight across. But here we've got this obvious like preference towards odds, and the evens are pretty low. And we, in fact, had enough data to uh, substantiate that claim. Uh, so that's about it. There is goodness of fit in a nutshell. Good luck.